In the past two months, we traveled half away across Australia. Today, we are about to hit Perth, which is our second capital city of this trip. We can't wait to see it. We are so excited. We finally made it. Battery and break, despite our not very high hopes. <laughs> we are so looking forward to it. Hi Michelle, my name's Aaron. Um, do you guys have any unpowered sites left? And if you do, how much are they? Uh, from tonight onwards, maybe three or four nights. There's two adults and one dog. Oh, okie doke, no worries. No worries, thank you. All right, so then takes dogs in swags or tents. Next. Three nights, two adults. Unpowered side, next. We made it to Perth and we're having some problems finding a suitable campsite. I'm going to read you a couple of wiki camp reviews. Ha ha ha, we rocked up to stay and turned straight around and left. We were worried we wouldn't have a car in the morning. Do yourself a favor and do not bother. This is another review. Ha 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 ha, don't do it if you like life. Stay away from this dump to say is feral is an understatement. So these are your typical reviews of um, um, campsites in Perth. We did manage to find a pretty decent campsite about an hour away from Perth. So we're going to stay there for a few days and do the trek into and out of the city where we need to go visit. To be fair, if we were way more organized and booked in advance, we wouldn't have this problem. So this is kind of on us as well. Like every other time. Like every other time. <laughs> We are really not used to this view anymore. Not to the view and not to drive in the city either. So this morning we were two hours north of Perth. Now we are one hour south of Perth and we didn't see Perth yet. We are at a caravan park near there's like popcorn and everything on the ground. She's scavenging. Um, we're at a caravan park near, uh, at a place called Serpentine. And uh, quite close to here is a place called Serpentine Falls. I don't know if they have any water in them, but we'll check that out maybe when we have time. It's about a 50 minute drive from Perth. And it was the only campsite we could find. So far it seems okay, but we're spending 40 bucks a night for an unpowered grass site again. Somehow we keep getting into these situations, I don't know. We're just lucky, I guess. I was planning to make a nice dinner tonight, but it's only 10 past five and it's freezing cold. Well, the temperature is not too bad, it's the wind, the wind is horrible. So we have this packet of fries, fried rice, and I might put a can of chickpeas in here and uh, an avocado if I find it in this mess and then a stew. So this is MSG. If you don't know what MSG is, you need to go to watch an Uncle Roger video right now. Well, not right now. <laughs> when Finish this video first and then go watch an Uncle Roger video. Where your MSG? You don't use MSG. How to make good egg fried rice? MSG is the, the king of flavor. If you sad in life, use MSG. If you happy in life, use MSG. Put MSG in everything. It'll turn it better. You just get a baby, put MSG on baby. And I really recommend to try his fried rice recipe. It's delicious. Aaron was always making it when we were living in the bus and it was amazing. Actually, I can't wait to have it again when we have a fridge. Also, I swear that Uncle Roger fried rice tastes better than this and looks better than this too. Pretty, oh. pretty sure Uncle Roger is be rolling in his seat right now. You don't add chickpea to fried rice? <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> what are you doing, nephew, niece, nephew? <laughs> Feel his ancestors crying. Honestly, to call this fried rice is a stretch. I wouldn't call it fried rice. 
but it doesn't taste too bad because of the MSG. The MSG stands for make shit good. I'm this king of flavour. <laughs> it doesn't taste too bad. Boiled rice with chickpeas and avocado, who would have thought it? Good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's actually the best weather that we had in a couple of weeks. So we are very excited. Now we're going to see birds. For every place we visit, uh, I have uh, uh, flags on Google Maps for the places that I want to, I really want to see. And in Paris, I only had one flag, and that is a bakery. <laughs> These are my priorities. Parking in Perth, at least where we're parked, is about five bucks an hour. That's it. So what are you having? What did we get? We got a... Oh wow. Yeah, they look good, hey? Got cheese, tomato and... Pesto. Pesto. Cheese, tomato and pesto toasters. And... Let's have a look in there. They look amazing. Alright, let's eat this. You have that one. They look good. That looks awesome. It does look very good. Look at that. Look at the melt on it. Oh no, it's falling out. <laughs> Get your big snipper out of it. Alright, eat it before it gets cold. Infesto adds an element that I haven't had before. Mm -hmm. They call this a croissant toasty. In fact, the bread is very different from your typical white bread that you use for sandwiches. It is very good. It's nothing like I ever tried before. It is, I don't know, how would you describe the bread? Sweet. Sweet? Mm -hmm. Aircon? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, and okay. light. It and has a lot of air, so it's nice mm -hmm. and light, sweet, and buttery. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good. And now we have nothing. It's gone bad. <laughs> I have to eat it by myself. <laughs> I don't believe you. Story. Now, now we have a cinnamon scroll which looks very cinnamony and looks actually really delicious. It looks big enough for two people. Yes, that's why you need to share it. Nope. Yeah. It's fine now. Alright, let's give this a crack, shall we? That oh, looks very good. Pastry is nice and light and buttery. Heaps of cinnamon. Not too sweet. It's good. I'm gonna eat yours before I do. Now it's time to find something else to do in Perth that is not. Oh. So we've come for a drive to check out the Perth. Botanical Gardens and let me tell you Holy smokes, it is amazing First impression was I think we come at the right time because it's spring and everything's flowering So the first impression was us getting hit in the face with a wave of spring flowers and color and the thing about Western Australia is that they've got so unique plants and flowers like such unique plants and flowers sorry that are unique to this area. And when you see it in combination, like they've, they've planted them in combinations, it just knocks your socks off. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, we were just having a conversation about what our favorite botanic gardens is, or we try and put them in a ranking system. And we've both ranked this botanic gardens ahead of Brisbane. We think this place is better than Brisbane. And it might even be better than everything else we've seen so far. Apart from Cairns, because Cairns has that oh, uh -huh. Cairns has that really awesome rainforest section, which is really hard to beat. Unfortunately, and, and that's where Western Australia has really let us down. The botanic gardens are not dog friendly at all. You can do a couple of walks, but you definitely can't go everywhere. And yeah, that's a bit of a 
Oh, for sure, it might be the BT. Mm, there is a place that I really wanted to go on. It's called the Walkway or the Glass Bridge or something like that. And you can't, you can't have dogs on it. So unfortunately, we weren't able to show you that this time. Uh, we missed out this time. We didn't because uh, we've got the dog with us and we couldn't bring her along the walk with us. So just as an example behind me, you can see the range of colours and species and flowers just in this section alone. I really like this fella. He's got the silvery bluey foliage and the purple flowers. I think he's tops. And then you get the yellows behind him. And over this side you've got more yellows, deep, deep violet blue, some white flowers down there, a whole path running through the middle of it. Bloody fantastic. Also, I used to work at a botanic garden, so that's why I'm a bit of a nerd. <laughs> a plant yeah. nerd. Yeah, I'm a nerd. <laughs> plant nerd. It's bush tucker, you can eat this. When it's in flower, you can eat it. Here's a, like a honey nectar in the flower. You okay. Can eat it, but it's not in flower. I don't think. No. Anyway, I like this thing. Look at the, look at the nuts on this. Look at the flower on that. That's very cool. It's got some big nuts, this tree. Sorry, what was that? Aremophila mackinlii. Your That's laughing is. is impeccable. Desert pride. <laughs> Didn't even read it. Come straight from knowledge bank. One of the iconic things to do in Perth is coming to visit this blue bottle. We were expecting for it to be in a beautiful place in front of the beach, but instead it's just next to a very busy road. I have to say that after two months traveling in the middle of the desert, in these towns that they are in the middle of nowhere, it's very nice to see some buildings, people, civilization. I'm not a huge fan of big cities, but once in a while it's very nice. Iron doesn't like them. Yeah, no, I'm not a, I'm not a city guy. Give me the bush anytime, or the nature, or somewhere where it's not so bloody noisy. We went to this Italian restaurant that makes a sliced pizza. And uh, look at this. The, I met the owner, from, he's from Rome, amazing guy, super funny, and he even offered me a coffee, which is definitely not something that happens very often in Australia. Actually, it never happens. It's a little corner of Italy in the middle of Perth. So I got three pizzas instead of two. We need to eat it before it gets hot, cold. It looks good. It's, it's stuck together, but now we're going to try it. It say in the website that it's healthy pizza, so in fact it's not oily at all, which is awesome. I'll try it. It's amazing. It's actually a real Italian pizza. It's very, very good. I'm so happy. Two months in the desert, I can finally eat good Italian pizza. Look, it's pretty good, but I'm pretty sure I can make it better. No. <laughs> pretty sure I can. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is very tasty. It's a different style uh, of pizza than what you usually get in Australia. So, it's a little slice of Italy. Very good. Well, that's it for the video. We really, really enjoy Perth and we enjoy eating all the food especially <laughs> yep and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up give it a like give it a subscribe share amongst your friends if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.